Uncle Tom, and I'm here just preparing to target some bluefin tuna, which have been in the area lately, and some yellowfin tuna. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go over some of the lures I'm going to bring and the techniques we're going to use. I mainly do jigging and popping. So it's a short run, 4th of July weekend. I think the fish are feeding on sand eels. We're just going to try and mimic them. And then uh, I'm going to bring a few poppers along just in case we don't see them and we want to try and bring them up to the surface while a couple other guys on the boat are jigging. So I'm just going to go through kind of what I'm going to bring on this trip tomorrow. So first, here's a hammerhead sea cup. I think it weighs about, I don't know, 120 grams. I will probably put links in the description how much this weighs. I have some bigger hooks on it. Mostly I use Owner ST66 or 67. I have a 5.0 on the belly and a 4.0 on the back. And I think these hooks are a little bit big for a sea cup. I'm gonna try it out. I have these hooks on here already. Of course, I can easily change them, but I don't know what I'm gonna throw until I get on the boat. So anyway, a hammerhead C cup, the build quality is great. All stainless steel wire. It's a pretty small cup. Got this from Salty Water Tackle a while ago. Uh, they still sell these. Uh, this is kind of a black colorway. A little kind of a sparkle finish, and I've used this in a couple different countries. Um, I've never caught a tuna on it, but we'll see what that does. Another popper I'm going to bring is something I used recently in Indonesia, a uh, Ballyhoo by Barboletta, and I think it's uh, 160 grams. And this is another kind of a black color with kind of a cool fluorescent back end. So I'm going to see what this does. I got a lot of bites on this from uh, Yellowfin Dogtooth, uh, so we'll see if this will work for Bluefin Tuna. Much bigger cup size. If you want to compare a C cup with this Barboletta, they're just about even at the front. And one other popper I'm going to bring is uh, this new popper I got uh, called an Amagari Zanga 230, D-Z-A-N-G-A. -A. So I think it's 230 millimeters long. All these specs are readily available. And I've got barbless hooks on this right now because I was GT fishing, so I'm probably going to swap those out for maybe some single assists. I think single hooks I'm going to give it a better try. I haven't had good luck with single hooks. I haven't had good luck with tuna, to be honest, so I'm going to try and get better. So yeah, maybe single assist hooks like these. Uh, these are done by Shout, and what I like about them is they have a little bit of uh, a very short assist cord, which, you know, they super glue and kind of bind around the hook shaft. And it's better, I think, than having just a single hook to a split ring because it's able to twist around as the fish moves. Whereas with a single hook, I think if you go one twist around, uh, you can see here, I twisted it about three or four times. With a single hook to a split ring, uh, it's gonna twist once and you'll get a lot of resistance there. So anyway, this is the Amagari. I might put single hooks on this guy, but this is very effective. It's pretty easy to pop. I like the way it looks. The finish is so strong on these. I think they apply 10 coats of epoxy. This has been on many trips. It was a demo lure uh, that was passed to me, and I caught three or four fish on this in Indonesia. Uh, a lot of hook rash, but I think one sanding and a little coat of epoxy over this, and it would be good as new. No damage at all to the hardware, but just to compare cup sizes, I would say it's about the same cup size as the C cup, but it's a much bigger, bigger lure if I put these kind of side to side. Um, so anyway, a couple poppers I'm going to bring. Stick baits have always been super effective for tuna, so I have a variety that I always bring. Once I lose a few, I buy a few more. I've had a couple that I've had with me for a long time and that are proven. Anything by Carpenter is usually a killer lure. I think Carpenter's been in the game a very long time, so I have a few uh, different sizes of Carpenters. Here's a Carpenter Gamma 90 that I just picked up in kind of a golden black color. These will run you about $100. I know they're expensive, but you buy a few, you catch a few fish. I've caught not that many tuna, but tuna I've seen landed time after time on these lures. Um, so here I have a Carpenter Diablo uh, GT 105. So it's a Gamma 105. Uh, these are around $100. I picked this up in Sansue in Tokyo and they're walk-in only and I bought it and you can't really buy these online. 
anymore. I mean, they come up for sale and they sell out really quickly. So if you can get your hands on them, I highly recommend them. Uh, here's a Carpenter Bluefish. Uh, this is a Bluefish 100. These swim really well, much different action than the Gamma. Maybe in a follow-up video, I'll talk about kind of techniques for uh, twitching these and what works for who. Um, I caught a GT on this in Indonesia. I've had this for three years, so it's time to lose it. I wanna buy something else. So yeah, those are three carpenters I'm probably gonna bring. Hopefully I don't lose them all. This lure is great. It's a Siren Badmon 250. Siren lures have been proven uh, all along the East Coast, all over the world. All these lures are available on Salty Water Tackle. That's kind of where I go for pretty much everything, unless it's something exotic that I import from Japan. They kind of have the latest and greatest in luring and jigging. So I uh, picked this up there and I caught a yellow fin on this. Very good lure. I have these single shout assist hooks on here, a 6.0. I think this is a 7.0 on the belly and a 6.0 on the back, uh, and the action is just great. It sinks below the surface two or three meters, and uh, this colorway is pretty cool. I can list the description for this if you want, but yeah, Siren Badmon, gonna be bringing that. It's already rigged up. Um, and then these are killer lures that I've caught pretty much my only bluefin tuna on in Cape Cod. Uh, it's called a CB1 Drifter, Drifter 200 DD. And uh, CB1 makes a lot of lures and they also make rods. Very cool Japanese company. So anyway, these sink and have a great action. They kind of flutter in the water as they sink. So as they're on their way down, they kind of do this. And the, the, the paint job, which you can't tell from the video, is amazingly transformative in the water. Uh, it shines purple on the top and green. And as it flutters, you can see that the, the fade paint job on the way down does really awesome things. So anyway, I have a couple, I think owner, uh, 4.0 and maybe a 3.0 on the back. And I have caught pretty much my only tunas with this lure. I lost one once and I went ahead and bought the last one that Salty Water Tackle had in the shop. Uh, I highly recommend this lure. Uh, it's a killer for uh, tuna. And especially if you need a sinking stick bait, uh, it will sink below the surface and birds won't wreck your presentation. Here's a couple other colors they have in this. Uh, so this is kind of a greenish macro color. And, and then a pink, pink and purple. Um, so if I lose that one, I have a couple backups. Um, this is one I picked up recently called a Guston. It's a swim bait, uh, it's floating, it's long. It's about 220 millimeters long, I would say. So yeah, I can throw this as well. And then here's another sinker I have called an ASWB. This is a sinker, uh, this is a floater, and they're both about the same length. So who knows if they'll be biting on something bigger. And then to the smaller stuff, Tackle House Brit. Uh, the 98 gram ones are great. 145 millimeter, 98 grams. These are killer lures. Sinking, they're super small uh, and they sink really fast and they do this in the water as well. These are proven all over the place. Um, Tackle House Brits, they're pretty reasonably priced as well. I think they're $40 from Salty Water Tackle. I've seen them cheaper uh, in other places. So I have two of these. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing those. I have a CB1. It's kind of a casting jig. Uh, I have a Jackson Pintail. I have these little Japanese lures that I'm pretty excited to try out called Arumomis. A-R-U-M-O-M-I-S. These you can't find anymore. I think I bought the last ones from Japanese Rakuten. But anyway, I have a few of those that I'd love to try and I'll probably use a single assist hook coming from the swivel. A uh, little bridge. So I would like to follow up with this video and tell you what was effective. Um, I'm also gonna be bringing a jigging setup, which I can show jigs in a different video, but those are kind of the spin baits uh, that I'm gonna be bringing. Thanks for watching, Tackle Tom. Can't wait to do a follow-up video.